this film was taken in Chelmsford in 1961-62, well, during which year I held the office of mayor. Um, this is a shot of Tyndall Square, the centre of the town, the cathedral behind, with the statue of Judge Tyndall in the foreground, a famous son of Chelmsford. He was the Lord Chief Justice in 1829, and his squat statue is there in the middle of Tyndall Square. Behind it is the Shire Hall, designed by John Johnson, the county surveyor, built in 1791. The courts are now held there. This was a procession of judges to the courts, on which occasion all the VIPs come out to welcome the judges. Here, as mayor, I am greeting the provost and the judge and his fellow judges, preceded by the mace bearer and accompanied by the town clerk. few shots of the, of the cathedral and the surrounding churchyard. The backs of the old houses around Tyndall Square. In the corner, the statue of St. Peter, done by the Chelmsford and nationally known sculptor Hutchie Jones. We then have a few shots of myself fulfilling some of the mayoral duties. You'll see the mayoral car coming in and out on a number of occasions. The following shots were taken at one of the innumerable fates uh, fundraising events raised in the town. This was at the St. John's Hospital, which is still there. Um, the mayor was always asked to say a few words in opening the occasion. It's a cold, dull day. The mayor is still saying her few words. And you will notice that all the ladies wore hats in those days. A number of demonstrations by St John Ambulance. And all the fun of the fair. Sixpence seems a long time ago. <laughs> and the mayor inevitably bought raffle tickets wherever she went. I was incidentally the first woman to be mayor of Chelmsford, which raised a certain amount of interest and a number of precedents which had to be coped with. We now go down into Chelmsford to the library building, which was built, I think, in around the 30s. The interest of this is the new building, the new civic theatre, and the new council chamber, which were formally opened at the beginning of 1962. We were all very proud of that building at the time.
those of you who remember would know this is Broomfield Road Corner with the mayoral car coming across in state, getting ready for the official opening ceremony of the new building. The mayor rushing backwards and forwards, meeting the mayor's secretary, Alan Hale, there. This is the plaque which was erected on the occasion of the formal opening. Inside the building you can still see that same corridor there, looking very similar. And these shots inside what was then the new council chamber. Myself getting a little bit weary from some of the mayoral duties on that occasion. The tricorn hat was an innovation because formerly mayors had had an admiral's hat a fore and aft. So I had this hat made at Luton College of Technology. As you hear, I'm accompanied by the Bishop of Chelmsford, Bishop Tiarx. And this was the audience in the new, what is now the new Civic Theatre. It had a flat floor at that time, since has been ra uh, a rake has been put on it. Here, I, a car is drawing up outside my home in Fifth Avenue, Broomfield. One of the perks of the job was to have this mayoral car at one's disposal. driving up out of Fifth Avenue into Broomfield Road. Now this sequence is all about a magnolia tree which was in a garden on the corner of where Duke Street is cut across by South Victoria Road South. There was a threat to take this magnolia tree down to widen the road and the citizens of Chelmsford felt so incensed that uh, the owner opened the garden, everyone came to sign a petition. It was at the time when the magnolia was in full bloom and literally thousands of people came, signed the petition. It felt like a symbol that here were the Philistines going to build a road and remove a beautiful tree like this. So as I say, Chelmsford rallied around The sequel to this is that the tree is still standing there, there, the road was not widened and at the moment, even when I'm recording this, the tree is in full bloom, it's magnificent. All kinds of advice was it taken as to whether the tree could be moved. The general consensus was if it was moved, it was doomed. There's South Victoria Road with the old art school on the right hand side. This was the entrance into the garden where the tree was and is. end of South Victoria Road. Now there's a roundabout um, there. You can just see the tree over there. This is the old, well the building of the new swimming pool but by the side of the old open air pool. The high street in those days with traffic coming down the centre of it. Some of the old shops of Chelmsford, so Weber's, which I think was a jeweller's. Boots the Chemist on the corner of Springfield Road. Baxter's, which I believe was a butcher of some kind. And then the Stone Bridge. First, a bridge by the Romans. Then the Bishop of London building a bridge in 1100. 
then a stone replacement and again a further replacement of the stone bridge in 1787. The horrible works that are going on there were in fact the flood relief scheme. The town had been flooded most years and uh, in that year a flood relief scheme was introduced which meant uh, 1787 you can just see the plaque in the middle there. This was all where the river was divided into two whilst the flood relief works were operated. Then a few shots across what is now Central Park, used to be called the Recreation Ground, a glimpse of the viaduct, the railway viaduct in the background. Then some shots of the old market with the cathedral tower in the rear, all the old market stalls. This was held down behind where the corn exchange was. The market stalls. And just a glimpse over the right hand top corner of the back of the Shire of the Corn Exchange building which unfortunately was pulled down. Now we have a few sequences at a garden party. Mayors were invited to innumerable garden parties. This was a year of the floral hats. This was held at the home of Colonel Sir Stuart and Lady Mallinson at Woodford Green. They were the president, he was the president of the Essex branch of the English speaking union. Um, and so uh, this being an Anglo-American organization held at Brentwood with a number of American airmen invited. Here you see them playing, I believe, volleyball. With the Essex woodland in the background. This is a row of mayoral cars. At every event of this kind that I went to, there used to be a very impressive display of mayoral cars. That's the Mayor of Chelmsford's one, and it was a matter of pride to have the largest, shiniest, blackest car of the county. The airmen still playing volleyball. Displays went on all the afternoon. Here you always had a Toastmaster rallying people round for the various events. More floral hats in evidence. There's myself talking to another former mayor. That was Alderman Farling down at the front there. And then we watched a tennis display and those with very long memories will remember Christine Truman who was a tennis champion. Very athletic player. I just seem to remember endless sunny afternoons. Yeah? All the VIPs watching on the touchlines. Christine had warmed up by this time. A display of archery, which was quite interesting to watch. It's got a shade on one eye, oh, with the arrows flying around. <laughs> it's a bit worrying. The lady 
ladies in the floral hats sitting chatting. Well, then in the grounds there was a small swimming pool, so we had a demonstration of diving techniques. Another garden party, and this time you may recognise it, out at Audley End. Uh, this was the High Sheriff's garden party, to which again Essex mayors, past mayors were all invited. Another long, hot, sunny afternoon. Everyone dressed in their best. And another Toastmaster. Inside, or at the end, a magnificent strawberry tree laid on in the main hall. And then one wandered round looking at all the rooms. More mayoral cars being lined up and another band playing. At all the garden parties you always had a band playing. Ah, me relaxing in the garden at all the end. And the mayoral car waiting. Here I'm coming back home after yet another event with the mayor chauffeur obligingly opening the door. And once more, a wonderful bouquet of flowers. This is not intended as a full record of the mayoral year. It's a glimpse of a very happy, very busy year, and just a few glimpses of Chelmsford in those days, in the early 60s. This commentary was made by myself, Jean Roberts,